if you don't know me, my name is Erin. If you do know me, welcome back. It has now been eight weeks since my brain surgery. I've been sharing my whole journey here on YouTube, talking about how we found my tumor, my surgery, my recovery, all that kind of stuff. And in that whole time, I've never said the word cancer. It's never been in a title or in a description or in a comment or anything, but I've intentionally done it today. The reason for that is because in a lot of the negative comments that I have gotten, and there's a million positive and then some negative, but in the negative comments, they're always using the word cancer. They're always saying she's pretending she has cancer. Whereas I've never said that word because we don't know yet. So this title, this video is answering that question straight off the bat. If you're one of those people, I don't know and I'm not gonna have it. I'm not gonna have it because I'm sending out all the positive vibes, I'm praying, I'm manifesting, I'm doing everything, and so is my wee community here on YouTube. So if you're one of those people, get going, get out of here, give me five minutes apiece as I wait for my final results. Please and thank you. So let's now actually get into the update and where I'm at. So if you've been keeping up to date with my videos, you know exactly where I'm at. We were having the face-to-face -face appointment on Thursday. So Thursday morning comes along at like half 10 or 10.30, they give me a ring and they told me that my appointment is no longer face to face and no longer at two o'clock, that the surgeon would give me a call at some point in the day. And they asked me if I was okay with that and I said I because I figured, you know what, somebody else must need that appointment, it must be a more urgent case and this is definitely a good sign that I'm not having to be called in face to face anymore. So the surgeon rang me actually before two o'clock and he told me that they still don't know. It has been eight weeks of waiting and I understand it is definitely not slacking on their side or anything at all. They wanna be 100% sure with the diagnosis. I completely understand. And I'd rather wait to get like a really, really confident diagnosis than have it rushed and have them just kind of guessing what it is. So I asked him on the phone call, have you ever had this done before? Like, is this usual is as common for people to wait this long and his exact words were in my 20 year career i've never ever had anyone wait this long so you take the cake with this one if you remember the type of tumor that they said that it was that they were leaning towards the best case scenario it is a pleomorphic xanthoastrocytoma and he said that they're still leaning towards that however there are two things and i believe they're types of cells but i'm not 100 percent sure two things that are in those types of tumors that they are unable to find so they are now sending my tumor off again somewhere else for them to do the final tests he said to look for those two things that i think are cells he said that he hopes that it'll only be a week or two and we'll have a final diagnosis but he just doesn't know it was during this time I told him that I've been having breathing problems, which I actually haven't mentioned here on YouTube. I always forget about it when I'm on here on YouTube talking about my recovery because a lot of my symptoms are getting slowly but surely better, whereas my lungs have kind of been the same this whole time, being short of breath and not being able to walk that far. We actually got a wee wheelchair so I could try and go out and build up my strength in my lungs and have a wee sit down but it hasn't really been helping not that much so i told him about it on the phone call and he said that is absolutely not normal and he thinks that it could be a blood clot due to the anesthetic so that's what we're dealing with today so he referred me on to someone and he said they were going to give me a call in a couple of days so it's been two now and I'm a wee bit worried, so I think I'm gonna to go to a clinic today to go in to see if they'll give me an x-ray. I did ask him, if it is this pleomorphic xanthoastrocytoma, do you think I'll need treatment? And he said, in my opinion, no, but I can't commit to that yet. We have to wait for the final diagnosis. He said that even when they give him a 100% confident diagnosis, him and a neurologist and an oncologist are all gonna have a meeting to sit down and to discuss the reports, to look at my MRIs and CTs and decide if I need a treatment plan. But the fact that he's saying he doesn't think so is a really, really good sign. So I'm feeling really, really positive about it so far. If you watched my last video, you'll remember me mentioning the neurologist was supposed to get involved. So I asked him about that and he said that he doesn't think they need to get involved anymore. And he said that my MRI still hasn't been booked. It's supposed to be next month. So he said he's gonna book it. So I'm just waiting to hear from them to find out what date that's gonna be. I'm hoping that we get the results, like he said, in the next week or two. He's not sure, but hopefully that would make things so much better. I'm feeling very positive about it. That conversation took away a lot of my nerves. I do have a small 
sense that there is a possibility that it might be what I mentioned last time where they might not know, right? They might come back and say, we couldn't find those cells if that's what it is in this tumor. So it's not one of those. They might not know. In that case, I think it will be a longer process. And so I'm hoping that that's not the case, that they just find it and everything's okay. And it's funny how much I've kind of come along mentally since he first told me about this tumor and he said, you know, there's a 80% chance you live in five more years if this is what it is. Because then I was so worried, whereas now I'm over the moon. Like I'm excited, I'm happy, I'm relieved, I'm grateful if that's what it is. So I don't need treatment. I can just get on with my life and honestly, spend every day like it's my last and be grateful for every single day and every single person that I have in my life, especially the people that have been there for me throughout this process. While this has been so difficult, you know what they say, that hard times always highlight the people that's there for you. And I've had so many people reach out and be there and just be an amazing support system. So while this has been a crazy time in my life, the most stressful, the hardest time I'll ever go through, I am very, very grateful for it putting everything into perspective for me. That is pretty much everything. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling hopeful. I will let you know when we know. Hopefully it is sooner rather than later. This is ongoing. If it does take two weeks, we're going to be going from the original, it'll take 10 days for your brain tumor results to it'll take 10 weeks. So I'll definitely be relieved when this is done and over with and we finally move back to Ireland. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all of your kind comments. They mean so much to me. I'm forever grateful. You've made this time for me so much easier. So thank you so much and I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.